What's going on? Welcome back to the channel here. Yesterday, we picked up this brand new 2020 F350 diesel. It's a platinum, uh, six inch lift, 37, 13.5s on 20 by 12 hostiles. Thing looks absolutely incredible. I think it's actually trying to rain right now, which uh, kind of sucks, but we'll keep working. Uh, today was a busy day. If you've watched our last few videos, you know that I had a 1966 Ford. It was an F-250, that white truck that we put down by the shop. That sold today. So that's out of our hair. The, uh, our 2016 Outlander, that's on its way out the door. Of course, we traded in the 17. So we're kind of refreshing the fleet here. Yes, we are going to keep our uh, the Mercury. That's not leaving. But in today's video, um, we got some stuff to do on the Platinum. Of course, I have nothing in it. Um, <laughs> just bought it, so why would I? But uh, I have my two-way radio. So we got to set that up. I'll actually show you guys how that's mounted in. Um, I had the same mount on my 17. So it's actually in the little glove compartment. The noise in the background, Ken is out raking leaves on the lawn tractor. But, uh, so these Fords, the Super Duties anyways, they have this nice little compartment here. Pop that open. That's where I actually keep my Kenwood. So this is a, I don't know what model this is, but it has a remote mount for the faceplate. So the faceplate comes off the unit and then it mounts in here. And of course this, the reason this is dirty, it didn't come dirty from factory, but it pops out just like that. And then uh, I have this mounted just two bolts and that's all it is. So of course it's not hooked up right now. We got to do that, but that's how I had it mounted. And then of course it just snaps back into place here. Trying to do this one hand is a little tricky, but like it pops in in these little plastic pieces, you know, in like that, on this side, in like that. And then nice thing about this, uh, the way I have it mounted is when you're using it, you can have the volume right up, close that. Now you just have the mic out. It can sit in the cup holder like that. Truck still looks clean. And then uh, you don't have to worry about someone seeing, you know, that you have a call radio in your truck. And then, of course, when it's all said and done, the cord just goes all back into there. Just like so. Close it, boom, looks factory again. So. That's a big thing that I did the last time. Of course, I was working. Ooh, sorry about that. I was working in the oil patch, so I needed that. Um, now I mainly just use it sledding. And if I go down a patch road or a radio controlled road, that's what that's for. So, um, yeah. And then, of course, we have the phone booster. It'll mount up on the dash there. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, we're gonna have to go ahead and pull the console out. So that you'll see, the console has to come out. Of course, these side panels come off. Um, the face plate for the radio comes out. There's a bunch of stuff we'll do, but uh, I'll clean out the back seat because there's some stuff in there from when I bought it. Uh, just some of the newer parts, stuff like that. And then I have a box full of my stuff that has to go into the truck as well. So we will clean that out. Running boards go up. I love that. Absolutely. Just love it. Hopefully they stay good like that. But uh, yeah. I'm going to set you guys up. I'm going to get to work here. So one thing I do want to do. Um, we do have one of the tre uh, Tremor front valences. This big ass plastic piece of shit. Uh, we got a small one of those coming. Uh, our tires do rub. And it's quite annoying. So I'm going to take old license plate. I'm gonna mark on here, and then I'm just gonna cut this plastic with a hacksaw. Alright, 
let's see how that clears. Pretty good. Looks bad. We'll clean that up. I'll go do the other side. That side's much better. Much better. I could have done a little bit steeper of an angle, but this clears, so I'm going to leave it. Like I said, we got that tremor valence coming. It, it'll be about a month, so <clears throat> that doesn't look too bad. You really can't tell. And if we go way back, like, there's no way anyone's gonna actually see that that's cut. I'd rather it be cut. Then every time I turn, it goes And it's like, okay, brand new truck. Shouldn't make noise. What the hell? It's kind of raining. Okay, so we're in the back seat. What we're gonna start with is getting the console pulled. Now these are super easy if you've ever done them. You just take, I push in on the back and lift. Like push in here, lift. Cup holders popped right out. In my 17, there was actually rubbers in here. They, uh, they got rid of that, so that's new. Interesting. Now the plan is like you have a 12 volt plug here. Don't ask me why I just stuck my finger in there. But there's, let me just look here. So you have power and you have a ground wire. We are gonna tie into these, get power for the phone booster and our radio. We're gonna run off this. Cause that's fused, we're good to go. Never tripped on my old one, so that's what we're gonna do. So now, um, you have a screw here, you have a screw here. I believe they're an M25 Torx. Pull these and then this whole back panel. Then you should be able to pull each side. There's just a bunch of plastic clips. One last thing and there we go. So that's out. Now on my other one you have a plate down here, which we have on here. Um, that, I believe, is dorky module. But our phone booster, we're just going to set it right back in here. The other one, I did have it screwed and mounted. It ended up coming loose. So we'll just put this one back here. And it, it should work out fine for us. So, All right, now, so we're coming in through the driver's seat here. There's a screw right back in here. It's a, you need a seven mil wrench. Just tried to light this up better, but there's that bolt. Now that we got that bolt out, uh, we want to pull this plastic side panel. So move your seat all the way back. Then just take your fingers, start prying. Kind of work your way down. You'll hear it start popping. There we go. down and out. These are just these little plastic pop rivets that we are popping. Of course the top ones you kind of lift up and out. So now with this side panel um, removed you take a 10 mil socket that'll give you access to this bolt. It's a little bit tight so it'll take a little bit to get out. Um, Just the way those clips are. So there we go. So there's one of the four bolts. Now you want to take your seat, move it all the way ahead, like so. Come through the back door. 
And there's one more. See if this one will make a bunch of noise. It should. No. Hello. Who is this? Hello, can I? <laughs> trying to interrupt my video, are we? No. Yes, walk away and hide. That's all good. But we gotta get this out, just about. So we got that one out. We'll walk around to the other side uh, and I'll show you what to do with that one. All right, same as last one. Seat all the way back, work around. This one, it doesn't have the bolt at the front, so. Get your fingers in there. Get it to pop out. Just like that. And then we have a bolt right here. One behind. Um, last but not least, you wanna go up into the top corner of this little side cubby. Take a pick. Get it to uh, work its way in there. And then just kinda pry. <clears throat> Um, try and set you guys on the seat here. And I dropped you. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, and then this just pops out. There's these two little top tabs. So, these are a lot nicer than the old ones. The old ones had one of the push-in clips in the center. These come out a lot nicer than the 17s. Then there's a 10, 10 mil bolt right in there. Okay, passenger side, same thing. Pick goes in, kind of work it. Takes a little bit. Come on. There it is. Now, I just had to pry. Of course, you end up damaging this just a little bit, but I didn't scratch anything else, so I'm happy. That bolt's out. And of course, if I'm saying it's a 10 mil, all I'm talking is that's the size socket you need. I believe this is a six mil metric bolt, but the way I see it, that's the socket size I'm gonna use. Now I'm gonna pass you off to McKenna, and I'm gonna show you guys how to pop this console now that we have it unbolted. So now what you wanna do, you have it unbolted, you should be able to lift it like this. This is kind of a fun part. You just take, grab your console. Oh. All right, so these are a little different. Um, the 17s, there's little clips and you actually have to pop them out. This one obviously doesn't have them. And we'll just take our little protectors off that Ford forgot. Oh, now I did it. Jesus. Now there's sticky stuff on there. Okay. Now that we're done screwing around, with that, I kind of just take, I stand, open up your vault, and then you kind of are able to just pull it back. Um, if you want, you can unhook it. You can completely remove it at this point. We're gonna leave it in because we don't, actually no, correct me on that. We're gonna pull it out just to make this install easier. So up front, take, unplug, whatever this is. One thing out, then you have your big white plug, little tab on the back. So there's a tab here. Should be able to just push down on that. <clears throat> Give her a pull. So off camera there, I finally got it. If you have a pick or something pushing on this and pry it, the little catch there, it's a little hard. So pushing down with a finger doesn't quite unclip it, but there you go, it's out. So now, um, I'm gonna fold this seat ahead, pull our stuff out, and we're gonna lift this console out here. Just take it. Should be able to stand it up. Oh geez. Okay, another plug. Forgot about that. I'm gonna just sit boo boo. Yep. 
Are you filming? Mm -hmm. All right. So, like I did on the last one, put this in. There, just like that, nice and easy. Just like that. <laughs> All right, so I just wanna add one thing. Um, just editing this video, uh, one thing I did miss is when I initially pulled the console out, um, I'd missed one other plug. Now you probably just seen it. The black plug that I just unplugged, there's a brown plug right next to it. Now that brown plug is for the power running boards. Um, throughout this video, I forget to unplug it or I didn't unplug it. It came unplugged itself. I didn't plug it back in. Then I had issues with my power running boards. They were stuck down and they didn't go up after this. Um, took me a little bit to figure out, but I just wanted to add that. Um, make sure you do that. You can actually see that plug on the passenger side seat of the console. Um, it's a brown plug. It actually sits outside the console itself. Just make sure you plug that in. Uh, we're going to start pulling this apart. Um, we're able to leave the side ones uh, for what I'm doing. Now, if I remember correctly... This just lifts up and should pop out. Of course, my old truck didn't have the fancy stereo. There's no bolts in there. This should be able to just pop up. Like so. And I thought there was some bolts somewhere. No. Okay, I think that'll pop up, but... I'm going to leave this. I should be able to get my socket in here. We'll take these bolts out. We'll bring this ahead and we'll have enough room to access what we need. So two seven mils or seven mil socket. They come out nice and easy. I do believe. Anyways, I want to lift up. <laughs> oh, I love new vehicles. Did they change it? Oh, they shouldn't have. Come on. There it is. Oh, shit. There we go. Now just nicely work your way down. Try and always get your fingers in um, where you want them closest. And then on the bottom, these ones suck, but it just pops straight out this bottom piece here. Ooh, is this part of it now? Maybe. No, it's the same. Same as the old ones. So just kind of wiggle your fingers in. This one's actually set up a little different than my last truck. Um, just on how they plug stuff in. Come on. I don't want to wreck this. It's brand new. But this is being a piece of shit. I might actually be able to leave that. I'm going to try this. I don't know if I can turn it. Set it like that. I need to take out this bolt here. That'll be a seven mil socket. Should be like this. There's our bolt. Um, then we're gonna pull one of these side ones, I guess, just to make my life easier. Is there a bolt down here? I don't think so. I wanna say they're all just pop-ins. Yeah. So now, You suck! There it is. Right when it feels like something's gonna break, that's how you pull these newer ones apart. Anyone that works on anything automotive, they will uh, attest to that. So what I'm gonna do, because um, I have a cradle mount, there's this little edge. 
I have to take and shave some of that off just so my cradle will actually sit in there. So I'm gonna just use a hacksaw, same as I did for, I guess the front, I'm gonna shave that and then uh, I'll show you the mount. So this little bracket here holds my phone cradle. It's gonna sit just like this. Of course it uses that one bolt. Now the reason we took, we'll just get a nice close up of that. Um, so we took, cut that, just kind of cut on an angle so we stayed away from the fascia here. And then this will be able to sit nice and flush. So now that that's done, we clip this back on, we'll reinstall it, I guess. So make sure you plug stuff in. Don't forget that. Start at the bottom. This should fucking go somewhere right here. Oh. What am I doing? So, and you shouldn't need much pressure to put that back on. So that goes like that. Um, those bolts came from where? The top up there. The other little guy that I had, where'd he go? Just like two. So we'll set that in there. Take our bolt, balance it kind of on our thing. Get it in the hole. Take that in. And there we go. So that's in. Um, I'll just show you. So if you can kind of see that, it's nice and flush. I'll just give you a top down view. Sorry about the lighting. But it sits nice and tight. It's not, uh, not sticking out. And of course we had clearance there anyways. So when we put this back on, it'll sit nice and flush. So what we gotta do now, um, we're gonna take, we're gonna pull this off. Uh, I believe those are 18 mil or 17 mil socket. Pop this off and then we're gonna run our power cable. It'll come under the, well I guess vinyl floor or carpet, whatever you have. Um, and it'll head towards the back. And then uh, we'll run all our stuff up front. Went ahead, um, we hooked up the wire again. You, you can sit back there. Um, but we just went up and over. There's kind of an opening up here. And then just snake it through. I just dropped the glove box. It's just two little tabs and a little stop. Really simple thing to just pop out of the way. Or just hope that the wire falls. Um, but I brought it out here. Because it'll have it, er, we don't actually even need to run it under the carpet on here because we have the console it'll end up just sitting and it'll all get hid so wires hooked up just pop your console down fight with this because that's what you do oh my god wow oh there we go like so Pop that into there. Just like I showed right at the back, right off the start. And then uh, you get a cable here. Just have to uh, kind of rope that a little better. That's what uh, I was getting caught up on there. So now this is able to, what did I get on my finger? There's something sticky. Jesus, okay. Like I was saying, that's in there, cable up, over. Take your mic. Just like that. So there you go. Radio's back in. Um, of course, our cord is there. We have the antenna, not the antenna, but the phone cord here. So that's good. That needs to run to the back. What is on my finger? What in the living? Okay, so 
filter. So yeah, that's all ran. We're gonna have to run um, from the back of the from the back of the radio. Uh, there's an antenna wire that'll come through here. It's raining outside, so I don't know how much I'm gonna film of me actually putting that in. All right, well, it's raining a little bit too much uh, for what I need to do outside. So we're going to go in. We're going to go have dinner. Hopefully the rain stops, and then we can come back and finish this here tonight. Okay, so we're back from dinner. Um, had some salmon wraps. It was good stuff. But I went ahead. I've already installed this. So. What's that? I don't know what that was. Is that your phone? Yeah. Is that like an alarm or? What was that? <laughs> I don't know. We'll go. You guys heard that, right? That was the weirdest <laughs> shit ever. Did you do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, back to this. So, this is the aerial. Um, that'll be for the radio. I'll just pop the hood here quick. Sorry if the lighting is uh, mediocre at best. I understand. So we'll pop this open. There's our under hood lighting. We'll use our little Cyclops light here as well. So I'm just using the one bolt there. Um, on the 17s. Oops. Trying to get my light to stay. There was a little piece of foam that went here. Uh, the 20s don't have that. But this is how I have it. Of course, this L bracket, you can buy those from most uh, radio places. And then if you look down in there, the cord just runs back through the grommet. But now on these newer diesels, be very, very careful. I ended up breaking off a piece right here. That's for um, what should be a hydro boost, but of course they actually have a vacuum booster for the brakes so very cheap well maybe not cheap but just thin flimsy shit i put my arm down here and it cracked it off so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to epoxy that put that back together so tomorrow i can go because it's nighttime it's a saturday night on a long weekend and i'll never get apart so yeah fuck eh? But coming into the truck, so I'll just show you. We're coming through that little grommet here. Sorry about the lighting again. But we come through the main body body harness there. Um, I'm going to end up just coming down. I'll pop the vinyl back. We'll run it underneath. It'll meet up with our wires here. Go under the console to the back. I believe this wire has to go all the way to the back seat. Hopefully it's long enough. But uh, I'm going to get our main bracket at the back undone. And then uh, we'll start feeding wires underneath. Okay, so we're in the back seat. Um, most of these new trucks have this like fold down deal. You want to fold that up. There's these little covers. You can usually just pop these out with your finger. And then there is, I believe you need a 13 mil wrench. You'll take these two and then there's two more over there. You also have to take your spare tire wrench. There's that hold down bolt, pull that. And then this will pop out. Um, then we need to put our radio back there. I don't know if I'll mount it tonight, but we'll definitely get it ready. So we went ahead, we pulled that out. Now what that allows us to do is uh, once we get this little bracket out here, then we'll be able to run our cables all underneath the floor. Um, I believe on the last one, I had them come out here and then uh, they just kind of sneaked out. I could also run them all the way till here. The vinyl floor is a little different than the carpet. I can't remember exactly, but uh, I got to pull that out and then we'll snake the lines under. I'm not going to show you me pulling them. Uh, use a coat hanger, use whatever you can, just push them. Uh, you'll be able to get them through. It takes a little bit. And one more thing, we got Ken up here. Uh, we 
epoxied this. She's just holding it in place for a little bit. Doing a good job. And if she wasn't doing this, well, I would have to, and then we'd be out here till 12 o'clock. But uh, we need that fixed so we can go tomorrow. Okay, so we got all our cords are in. I'll just do a quick review. So this one here, that comes from the front antenna over there. You have this little one that is from the phone booster. This big fat fucker, it is from our radio. So I had pulled this out. Sorry, the lighting is really bad right now. But I pulled out this rear bracket, uh, snaked everything under the back seat. This might be a little better for you guys. Um, so we have power, power and ground. We have to hook up. That's for a radio. Um, of course, this is for phone booster. This is also phone booster antenna. And then now uh, you have your power, you have antenna, and you have remote face place mount. So these will all end up coming back up here. And of course we'll hide most of these, but uh, I'm gonna put the console in first, and then uh, I'll be able to put this rear compartment thing back in afterwards and uh, we'll be able to tidy up our wiring. So, Kenna went in. Uh, I don't know if she's coming back out, but I'll kind of just set it up. Um, really, to put the console in, you just line it up, it slides back together. And then the bolts are just, you know, put them in the way we pulled them out. So, I'm gonna just skip through that. Um, I'll get it put in, and then uh, I'll show you guys how I wire this up. Coming to the end. So, I went ahead, I hooked up our powers. Of course, yellow is your power wire. Um, black is ground. So I have my phone booster. It's tied in on, I guess, the truck side. And then I plugged into the plug side for my radio. So we have power, wherever the green light is. Green light's on, so this will just get tucked in here, right like that. Um, there's gonna be enough wiring and stuff holding it that it will stay there. Um, so I'm gonna put this back panel on. And then uh, with that, we'll be able to put all our wires and everything here, so let me get that done. Here we go. Console's back together. Of course, you cannot even tell that there's a phone booster in there. It looks just like it did. And then of course this is where we ended up mounting the Kenwood. Um, so this would be the radio main plate. And then of course all the cords just go around. Um, that would be for the face plate. It comes around power and antenna. And then there's this nifty little cutout here to see if that can focus. And then uh, I have all the wires tucked in behind the seat. Of course this goes back in. Um, I had to move our, uh, what do you call those, spare tire wrenches over just a little bit. Punch a new hole for the tie down, but those fit. Um, it gives me a little more room with the radio there. And then, of course, you have this that you can still fold down. It clears that quite a bit. Or, you know, boom, seats are down. Radio's hidden. But you come over here, climb in the truck. I believe I can power this up now. So there we go. Radio works. Of course we're on RR3, but we'll just shut that off. I know a good thing, like these Kenwoods, you can have them so they power down um, with ignition power. Since I have it wired to our 12 volt source, that is controlled by ignition. So I can turn that on right now, but as soon as the truck shuts off, it kills power. I don't have to worry about it draining a battery. Um, it never caused an issue with my 17 Super Duty. So hopefully it doesn't with this one. Now, yes, there could be a little bit of different things. I'll just shut the, uh, the heater off there for you guys. But uh, I hope this video isn't uh, 
really informational for the people that need to, uh, you know, pull apart your dash, pull the console out. Uh, if you're looking at putting a phone booster or putting a two-way radio in your truck and you don't want it done so it looks like a sore thumb, um, go ahead. You know, I didn't create this. This is the way I wanted it mounted. I haven't seen anyone else mount them this way, but uh, whew. like always, thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next time.